one, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. All right, this is a bit of news, but of course, take it with a bit of salt because this person has compiled everything themselves. So it's not necessarily a rumor, but until you see the full numbers and you can, you know, cross check it yourself this is just seen as someone's theory someone's you know actual someone's opinion on this whole situation uh quarter four super chat revenue down 26 percent compared to quarter three mainly due to the the graduation <clears throat> they're having here these are numbers in dollars us dollars uh elira had 10,000 7,000 etc all these numbers are here for you guys to see total yen oh total us dollars is 171,000 on 81,000, they converted it all to yen. The yen right now, as of this video's recording, is about 155 or so per US dollar. So it's not direct 100 to 100, 100 to 1, but it's about 150, 155 to every US dollar. So the numbers here, though, are all in US dollars. So you're seeing, you know, October, November, December, which is, I guess, quarter two, is um, is all 20,000, etc. You're seeing here, the top ones that I'm seeing are Elira, Pomu, Selen, for the, the ones not in blue. But then you have quarter three. It, the ones that are on top is Pomu with 111,000. Uh, that's amazing, I believe. That should be yen, though. I th no, it's in dollars. It's in dollars. It's in dollars. And yen is at the bottom. So holy crap. Yeah, it's in US dollars. Uh, Petra didn't do too well. Uh, we have Albin, who had 40K. Fulger, who had in, in the quarter, by the way. That's a quarter. That's three months. Had 20K. 62k by Scarla, she did really well. Uh, we have 41k by Meloko, who also did really well. Van to 20. Most other people were below 20k, including Vox, who was oh no, Vox at 50k. Vox at 50k. So he ended rather well. Now we're moving on to the other blue, which is quarter four. Of course, Pomo's not gonna have anything because Pomo's gone by this time. February, March, and April. She graduated in January, the end of January. The ones who were on top were Luca. Uh, we had um, Luca with 28K. We had Vox with 23K, which was a drop from 50K. Uh, 32K from Sunny, so he went up. 31K from Albin. 23K from Maria. No, from Folger. From Folger. 23K from Folger. 5K from Maria. Uh, 23K from Aya. Yeah, Aya actually did rather well. 23K. 54K dollars again from Scarla. Scarla is continuing to, continuing to do well. She has dedicated people who are going to give her money, which is good. Support, especially with Niji Sanji. The way they support you, they don't support you at all. You have Hex with 29K. You have Dopio with 22K. Kyo with 21K. And of course, he graduated. The graduation in February gave him a lot of a boost. And Vizali's Fancy Core, Yuki, Yuki and all those. Kunai, Victoria, and Claude are having very little. Um, barely enough to survive from what it seems like even for the quarter it's pretty bad it's pretty darn bad here are the points that this person wants to put the, the op if pomo hadn't graduated in january it would have been the second worst month on record here before the drama though i assume it usually drop in january considering christmas and new year's giving december a boost either way pomo's 100k graduation in a month is a massive outlier it's huge yes of course so even if we play around with the numbers and make it look better, they're only down 10%. Isn't really any way to, for quarter four to look like better results than quarter three based only on super chats. Based on those numbers, if we give Pomo to lend the average 6K USD per month, losing both of them lost 36K of super chat revenue for quarter four. Never newer livers, unrelated to Selenium drama in any way, Scarlet Ayadopio haven't seen much of a drop in their super chat revenue. Even Aster hasn't seen a, a downturn. They use alleged Discord DMs and name dropped in Raziel's document. Yeah, Luca hasn't yet. Yeah, I mean, all those things haven't seen too much of a drop. Uh, even though February saw Selen termination, ensuing PRS show and liver breaks, March managed to have lower revenue still. Even if you take Kyo's graduation revenue from February, Kotoka's super chat revenue from October isn't actually zero. She had streams, but for some reason, they're not in, on Hololizer. Same for TTTs. Uh, Niji reported 303 million yen revenue from quarter three. If we take 91 million and take away 30% YouTube cut, there's 64 million yen to any color. This would simply super chats amount to only 20% of the income. Other sources would be things like memberships and other big things like that. Ad revenue, donos, Streamlabs, other platforms, Billy Billy. Uh, of course, the impact differs uh, by per liver, of course. I offer mention that the prediction this person has, Newer livers who steered clear of the drama will just keep their heads down and keep streaming, especially the ones making decent money like Aya, Scarla, Dopio. Can't really blame them, honestly. Boys, uh, 3D debut uh, soon, TM. Honestly, half expected them to announce already given uh, exactly how you saw all these things happen with the girls. Uh, lastly, of course, they did have their AR live, which hasn't been 
put there. It's not as uh, indicative of Kuro quarter four over overall. Might save the boys next quarter as a look we're making next boys look more sub. Damn, Scarlet makes more money than Vox. I didn't know she had that much super chat. Looking at quarter three before Selene last cup of coffee, she was already head to head with them. So that's good. She actually streams unlike Vox. She's been pretty much untouched by the problems because she's made sure not to get into the problems. So anybody, pretty much, Anybody who is not it directly involved with the drama and not getting themselves involved in the drama are doing rather well. They're doing well enough, which is good. It's good to know. It's good to see. This is an assumption based on the information given here. Of course, I'm going to treat it as such. 75% wants to dump any color stock. This is any color going down 5%. All these numbers are, you know, the highs, the lows, the number wise of, of the time, the uh, stock volume, all that kind of stuff is going there. And here is... The finance Yahoo Japan. So they're actually showing evidence. So this is actually evidence of the people polled, the people who actually polled 75% said that they wanted to drop the stock and 14% said no. Again, this could heavily be skewed by hollow life people being in there or trolls being in there or aunties being in there. We can just take it as a grain of salt of whatever it is. Ligatory 75 is rookie numbers, Mark, but in serious, Niji gave their talents an S time. They, receive and re they received it in return, which is karma. If all 75% follow through with dropping them, I wonder if their company will still stand. I don't think, honestly, I don't think that uh, the Tokyo Stock Exchange, the Nikkei Stock Exchange would allow that to happen, to be honest with you. 75 wanted to dump uh, stock so far. Riku be like crying, yes. Forum is full of jargon. So hard to say accurately, automatic transition, convey meaning. However, I find it interesting that clearly visualizes the performance of the NDF. Many comments NDF posts receive downvotes and their backgrounds are highlighted in blue. Every site I go to see them getting clowned. Nobody likes them. Why invest? We do not have an answer for why Lear has almost five times the merch deals as other talents. They're saying they could understand the strategy of awarding more merch deals to the more popular talents, but Alira isn't the most popular. You would have Selene in that case. Or Pomu. Supporting Alira in particular is neither. They do not have acknowledged the comment on this anomaly shows willingness to shift a more sensible strategy. They should. We don't have an answer to so why they wouldn't ever apply to be a talent Niji Sanji now. Because from an outsider looking in, I'll just tell you my opinion on this one instead of reading this guy's opinion. Uh, from an outsider looking in, there's nothing to benefit you. You get mistreatment. You don't get any management. You get 2% of merch sales, which has your image. And your image is based on how well you do in streams. How well you do in streams is based on your personality. So there's no reason to stay there. We do not have evidence Niji Sanji learning from the mistakes of Selene. They really haven't. They've really kind of just pushed uh, harder against any kind of backlash, any kind of push to change. Um, her, the exact talents that spoke poorly of her and came under fire were never expected to do the same. They can seriously wonder why people refuse to move and forgive Niji Sanji after that. Because basically, <clears throat> odd that the CEO provided an appropriate apology and a tone, but the talents didn't. We do not have an explanation for why Niji Sanji continues to plaster Lyra's big mug all over the promotional material. This is what leads more people to believe the the rats the rumors that are all just rumors now because we don't even have proof that the person who leaked this stuff is an actual person inside of Nidhi sanji they could just be seeing all the trends going on and kind of you know uh connecting the dots in the most in the way that looks best for people so she's being they're being actively accused of corruption they're being actively accused of favoritism and they just say push lira out there we do not see a single instance of positive growth of respectable streaming numbers underperformance after underperformance because, of course, people have abandoned them at this point. If you show no uh, repentance, no apologies, no actual actions to apologize, then people will leave you. People will not see you. They will not look back. They will just see, oh, this person isn't even apologetic. This person isn't even trying to change. This person has done nothing to change. <laughs> And that does not look good to people. Image is Google translated right here. We're going to see the Google translate. Holy crap, that's small. Let me see if I can open it up in a new page for you guys to get a bigger number. Nope, can't get a bigger number. Uh, the 2365, I can't even read it. High price, low price, volume, purchase price, all that kind of stuff down here. Price range limit. So all that stuff. I can't even read the tiny ones. And I'm right near the screen. I can't even read the damn things. I'm sorry for that one. Let's hope they do learn. Pull up. Uh, hopefully such a move will lead to covers numbers surpassing any colors. Any color stockholders sell, sell, sell. In Parrot Chan's voice, of course. Uh, quarter four is going to be even worse. We have been pre we have been predicting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull up. Yeah, no, no we're not going to watch that because that's that's a YouTube video. I'm not going to watch that. There might be, uh, you know, uh, copyright type stuff there. So we're not going to watch that. But yeah, they're falling, falling, and selling, selling. And they're going to continue to do this unless there's a big change. People already are seeing the, the numbers on the wall. They're seeing the right on the wall. And so far from polling, it looks like they're thinking of selling. All right. This is uh, more news on Oliver D underscore 23. 
He is a poster and it says transition Yahoo News. Alcohol energy drinks are dangerous. Ministry of Agriculture Fishing Force. He says, obviously, seriously, didn't imagine upper management will approve of professor's honesty. He's tweeting about this because Oliver talked about mixing strong zero and Red Bull on stream a couple of years ago and he called it Blue Eyes White Dragon. And I'm going to be honest, I forgot he existed. I remember him collabing with Nina. So this is a person who is, as we will show here, a um, translate the bio fully. Oliver Evans, virtual professor Nidhi Sanji. Be aware of this. He's Oliver Evans from Nidhi Sanji. So he is a Nidhi Sanji person who says right here, it's obvious, seriously. And this here says the Yahoo News Japan thing about the whole stuff. He even on the JP side decided like, dude, this is dumb. What are you doing? And uh, even he got into it. Although like like some people said, unfortunately, yeah, I didn't even know he existed. Um, blue eyes, huh? What's his memory? Yeah, they're, they're, they're hitting him hard on the blue eyes white dragon thing that he did for for the, uh, as it mentioned before, that's right. Blue eyes is the passion of youth. Good children, please don't try this at home. Uh, about his things that he had done in the past, the Blue Eyes White Dragon thing, of a strong drink, right, right, effing loud voice, has someone else responding, of course, it's the case of that. So, of course, he has to come out and be like, of, it's obvious that you do not mix these drinks if you, unless you know better, unless you know the, the, the combination that you're going to be mixing these drinks for. So that's good that he came out and said it, uh, because Nidhi Sandy couldn't be that smart in doing that with the Kuzuha and Kanae thing, and basically threw them under the bus unfortunately. All right, here we go. We're going to take a look at one of Japanese major newspapers, one of Japan's major newspapers, reported the soju cocktail incident. Yes, the link here is what I'm going to be looking at, of course, because we need to look at this in the EN side. According to this, Ministry of Agriculture Forestry, oh, I went over this one specifically. Uh, website warns that drinking alcohol and caffeinated beverages together can lead to excessive uh, intake for not only caffeine, but also alcohol. The website explains that there have been cases of people dying from poisoning, and excessive use of energy drinks with high caffeine concentrations and suggest ways to drink them without overdosing. On the other hand, it also introduces that if taken properly, it's useful for improving health and sports performance. According to the ministry's food and safety stuff, uh, alcohol and energy drinks together in morning of the 8th after we received a number of inquiries, ministry did not provide details of the reason of the sudden increase of inquiries. Of course, we're going to read what this thing says here. They're going to go over basic the basic stuff here. It says, Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries warns that mixing energy drinks it, with alcohol is dangerous isn't influenced by the video. Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries warning drinking alcohol and energy drinks together can lead to a health problem due to excessive caffeine intake because people take too much caffeine. They think it's going to be fine. Uh, the response is serious. Received on May 8th. Uh, they said that drinking alcohol in excessive intake can be of only caffeine, not only caffeine, but alcohol as well. And summarize the effects, the good effects of caffeine if it's guided, if it's guided correctly, which this obviously was not. Um, can't wait for Niji to sue them for harassment. What? They did not mention Niji Sanji, but it's still well known that they were the one who did it. LMAO even. Uh, it was left vague in order to not get sued for defamation. Popcorns are ready. The show has just begun. By the way, because they saw a video drinking alcohol and energy drinks together on the video posting site, look at how defamation laws have done in newspapers. So if it's in public interest, the newspapers do not get affected by the laws as far as I know. But... Um, they still can be sued. Wonder if the Reddit lockdown has anything to do with this. I mean, Selene was terminated. Ian VTuber, fandom outrage. They do nothing. Okay, they abandoned the subreddit. Black screen video, more outrage. Employment contract, silencing contract released. Um, they do nothing. Luca, 60 page document coming out there. They do nothing. Now we have a scandal, seemingly somewhat mainstream with JP, like Gundo and the baseball drama. Uh, tweets from energy drink brand and government ministry, anti-defamation partnership, YouTube comes out, JP drama tour stops activity. The people that I mentioned uh, earlier today, the two uh, girls who were in a YouTube uh, VTubers that use AI voices to do their stuff, subreddit locked down. And here's the main source for the other one, the other incident with the Yahoo News Japan stuff. This is alcohol and energy drinks, the one that we just saw. It was posted on the Yahoo News topics. And this is the one right over here that we saw. Of course, just showing the, the showing the evidence because, you know, everyone wants to see the proof. Any color says it's a YouTuber who did it. So we have nothing to do with it. I'm wondering if Nidhi Sanji, because remember Nidhi Sanji's contract says that you cannot, that they will not do anything to help you if you are in trouble. You deal with it yourself. The VTuber deals with themselves. Being so happy going adversely affect their legal department. Seems they might not get overworked. They might get overworked uh, and underpaid. We all know the senior patterns, just wine and dine and Riku's yacht while they pile on the actual work and the interns. I'm wondering if the senior counsel just shows up to court without even reading the stuff the interns sent them. NDF gonna deflect not an idiot's fault, regardless of the timing of the stream 
and to express statements made by certain uh, translator outlets disliked by them. P2Y. Okay, this is one especially painful. Whoever the YouTuber is now is reputation and credibility attached to this infamy. Very significant disadvantage to acquire for further sponsorships. So yeah, that's one of the big things. Japanese Ministry of Agric Agriculture issued a warning about this. However, some trouble, some fans made a big fuss about being safe. The advertisers li liked it on X and Nidisanji remained silent. As a result, the ministry had to put out another one. Uh, narrowed down the topic and issued a second warning stating that the story was spreading for video sharing sites. So they had to do it again because people were like, oh, it's not a big issue. As long as you do it right, it's not a big issue. But no, it is. Kuzla and Kane are not entirely to blame since they said it's staff recommendation. However, it is. it was their idea. If it was their idea, they would have faced criticism, but the situation might have been resolved if Niji Sanji actually stepped in. Niji uh, staff's uh, usual pride is preventing from apologizing to the staff's responsibilities being questioned. Uh, we have this time the advertiser won't apologize. They're a typical VTuber agency. We would feel sorry for them. Hollow Live most likely would have apologized at this point. Hollow Live most likely would have apologized at this point. But Niji Sanji is too prideful to let anything small like this. Everybody's eating popcorn, of course, but anything small like this actually caused them any issues. They are just like, ah, we're going to ignore it for now. But of course, I have to say this. Be very, very careful. If you ever, ever do decide to mix alcohol with anything caffeinated, whether it be coffee or whether it be energy drinks, be always super careful and know what you're doing. This is Flipsy, who, as we know, is a person that is um, very much on the trolling side of things, like trying to troll in the sense of, you know, the throwing stuff back at them as kind of like a troll, things that they've done in the past. Binana Rugu has been blocked, has blocked Flipsy for saying maybe steer clear of S jokes after the two co-workers attempted. I never want to sleep with my mouth open again. I was inspired about the fact that I heard a crunch made me lose my appetite this morning. Maybe steer clear of blank jokes of co-workers attempted. So yeah, he's he's kind of, he's become a troll. I don't know if it's malicious, but he's he can be seen as malicious by a lot of people. Basically, after a while of being someone that trolls someone else too much you can be blocked this is something that can happen to you it can be blocked she didn't educate herself damn flipsy went for the throat uh this tweeter is annoying just latches onto any drama a lot of v-tweeters have made this drama entirely personality and it kind of detracts from what actually happens v-tweeters in general sound like nothing more than leeches who survive off engagement guarantee they wouldn't give two s's about the comment if it wasn't an easy way to gain more uh drama yeah i hate no i, I hate v twitters with the passion v twitters are, are basically they don't create content they just go and say things online a lot of people don't like them they also end up realizing they have their place i'm not going to say anything because i don't like bad mouthing people but they they have their place be talented entertaining in order to gain a following so instead they decide to be super ultra mega levels of petty drama that rivals even that of high schoolers in order to grow one like that time some s vtubers try to cancel doki because a collab with Fillion had an AI art tag. We should really start a whole VTweeter opinions automatically. As Zen said, some people get too excited that they're blocked on Twitter. Uh, Flipsy got blocked by Shu. So Shu Yamino and other people. This is what um, Tentrey had to say about it. I win because I don't have to see you again and keep you thinking about me and opening incognito to see what I'm doing. He was blocked by Shu Yamino as well. Uh, looks like I hit a nerve when I called out Uki for being blatant and un unapologetically art. So that's the thing that's going on there. Who exactly is Flipsy person? VTweeter, VTuber who doesn't actually stream, believe it instead relies on engagement or traffic from that site. It was barely even a joke, if you were being honest. Are people trying to turn this nothing burger into a newsworthy event? Yeah, it's just basically someone being a VTweeter online. Of course. A bit of a stench. Stretch. Her joke is directed at herself. Yeah, I don't know why he, he put that specific thing. I don't know why Flipsy, he or she, put that specific thing there. Uh, that was just a joke and just mentioning about a bug and then they met, they pushed it to that side. I don't know why. But whatever. I get it, but seriously, are we going to really dog them for something so minor like this? That's what that's what they do. Let's be real. Just a poor choice of words from the fish. Not a first time. And I understand she would block getting reality checked like that. I understand that her pos uh, passivity is frustrating and overall cowardice can be infuriating. But I don't think she's the one responsible for the attempts. Niji management is way more guilty than this. Yeah, Finana really strikes me more as a person who maybe stood back and didn't do anything, but wasn't actively involved in all the negative stuff happening, if you know what I mean. Need easy CV is in shambles. Leaving is key to thriving. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the exact CCV that they're saying. They're having a CCV here of 1861, 2000, 2000. Uh, Niji, um, on Shuyamino. Doki Bird is having 7,000, uh, 5,000, 6,000 average. They're saying here 1985 average, 6,000 average. But that's only like three, well, it's three and three, of course. We're having, of course, you can't see uh, YouTube numbers on here. We're having 1340 for Ike Evelyn. Michi Mochi V has 3,900 view, average viewers. You have um, Sunny Briscoe, 1,000. 3,200 for Made Mint uh, of the same three during the same period. 1,024 
for Anna Alouette. He usually actually has pretty good numbers, usually. And then you have Matala Khan with 3,000. You have 991 for Rosemi, but Rosemi has been has had low numbers for a while, a bit at least. Uh, 566, 1219, 1211, and for K9 Kuro, 1718. So it's not huge, but there are drops. And the main thing this person wants to put is that leaving gets you better uh, views than staying because right now, well, of the way the main thing you have to look at right now, just being honest here, they are in a PR disaster. They are bleeding subs as much as possible, and they're bleeding CCV as much as possible. And that is the main reason why this is happening, because there is a specific issue going on with their really, really, really bad uh, PR that they're doing. And everyone who's left has way better PR than they do. Ironic that Michi got higher CCV than everyone in Sanji, and now she and her branch were abandoned. Her regular streaming time is also close dead to NA, 9pm, and when she streams at other times the CCVs, very consistently meaning she's got a lot of fans in NA, EU, and Asia. Where you're looking at what an EG talent can do with good marketing, support, and freedom. It's no Gura, but who is? Those numbers are excellent. What that Vox, the bottom jump scared me. Damn it, CCVs are S compared to the past as well. They are, they really are. Over here. I forgot about the Vox thing. You have Luca Kaneshiro 965 and Vox 885. But Vox hasn't had a lot of things to compare it with. Just being honest here, being even. Still, it's horrible for him. Very horrible for him. He wishes it was better. But he's part of the black the black screen stream. So he's not going to get better. It's not. It's just not going to happen for him. Honestly, surprised Kudo CCV is as low as it's considering where he was. And it's not being affected by Niji's fall needed as much. Probably has something to do with being a lot less filtered and also not appealing to the kind of fans he recently had. The Fujo baiting. No more Fujo baiting. Whatever viewership Niji and Males lost, they're most likely to lose due to the managerial concerns. Seems that they just got bored of Niji EN Males, so they pretty much never came back no matter what. He lost a bunch of his viewers when he did his IRL face reveal. Uh, Kudo's case has more to do with a series of decisions that very questionably highly reprehensible. Beige, Adon, my snore. Uh, joke stream had more CCV and super chats than any of them combined. So yeah, like I said, when it comes to down here, Vox, he doesn't have very much to compare it to. Luca, I'm surprised he still gets as many people as he does, because Luca's done some horrible things. At least, at least what's accused of him doing horrible things. At the very least, he hasn't been as open. Uh, with with uh, you know apologizing for anything that he's done, apologizing for anything that's popped up, because I guess he doesn't want to call any attention to it. But these numbers are not great for what Niji Sanji wants to do. But Niji Sanji's uh, focusing a little bit more on their JP side right now. Another rumor, um, rumor mongering, whatever you want to call it, rumor mill. Uh, people are saying that Kotoka may very well be because uh, of the situation that she's going through. She's going through a mental health hiatus, and she might be graduating. That's what a lot of people think. That's what I think. Or she might just be taking a long break. But right now, it's best not to bug her on any of her social media, asking for graduation, asking for her to comment on anything. Uh, next most likely to leave is uh, Aster Scarla Aya, maybe. Maybe Rosami. Who knows? Uh, Rosami, maybe. Like, this is this is all uh, rumor. This is all someone's speculation. So, of course, take it with a very, 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 very tiny grain of salt. As in, like, this is this is no one that has any kind of extra information out there. So take it with a tiny grain of salt. We used to go PL Twitters are both Vivi and Kunai suddenly tweeted out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, so people are saying that they might be leaving because, you know, Vivi's not getting paid very well. Neither are the TTT members. Um, it seems that they flopped, so they may be seeing an exit at least sometime soon. Uh, together, Niji lets them go. It depends on if Niji's going to let them go. Uh, rush between FaZe and V Shoujo and taking her if she leaves, if Rosemi leaves, yeah. Um... Fun part about escape is soon to be former victims in the chaos uh, right after where they'll go. Like the NFL draft but for VTubers. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be wanting to see where they're going to go. V Shoujo, other people might try to pick him up. Um, a lot of people think that the people who aren't streaming right now in EN are running down their contract. That could very well be the case. Could very well be the case, but we may never know. And this is just rumor. This is a personal friend of mine. But as you know, I am objective with everybody. They messed up. They realized that they messed up they apologized and they realized they messed up i'm not going to be shilling for friends even if they mess up i'm going to hold everybody's feet to the fire just like i want mine held to the fire you know has been banned on youtube for showing too much butt no uploads or streams for a week it's been put in timeout as she should be and this is directly from you Nayo themselves any pictures the clip was this one i am not going to show this clip because it might get mine done um it's 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 talking about how you know this this uh outfit um they showed butt and they showed thong in the butt. So I uh, forgot where the camera was. The camera was pointing towards the butt. So yeah, 
this is is something that um definitely uh should have been banned like say so i have been banned on youtube i'm currently unable to stream upload videos or make community posts reason was because the thumbnail for a certain video was a little too spicy it's my fault i was edging youtube a bit too much and of course i put so sorry to see that you got removed from streaming for a bit to hope you can get back up soon of course uh, it's just community strike so as long as behaving nothing else will happen to my channel unless i can get modified the model that, that we're using will not be shown again sorry this is pointed anyone i was hoping to get some good streams this week but it looks like it'll have to wait i'll make it up to you when i get back they don't care about their customers obviously why not hit up uh snow shack on on instagram he was the one who helped me when i had the same issue oh yeah it'll end in a week they said they'll be ending in a week so it's a community guideline strike not an actual like um banning from youtube it's a community guideline strike and you get a week off you get seven days where you cannot stream i think you can still upload videos but you can't stream i think they remove your streaming capabilities because it's one of those rights that you have one of those privileges you have so they realized they messed up and they realized um unithic thanks definitely too much anyways about the bunny garden game it's being everywhere showing too much butt preposterous yeah the bunny garden is fine but these things aren't fine youtube is kind of a little weird but i understand because unless you mark it as 18 plus you're going to have children on there uh, eventually you will you eventually will so that's one risk that you have to take when you're doing these things and of course like i said it's a friend but i still will hold them accountable as they held themselves accountable which is amazing i'm not sure if i've covered this before but i'll cover it right now uh the debut and stream date for new three new v singers from rk music which we had talked about recently it's going to be noon sudia met mita they're all going to be going to rk music which is you know a music label uh their first single date release is going to be uh, on the 18th of May, which is as of this writing, three days from now. New and RK Music, YouTube, Twitter, Celia. Let's look at their, their Twitters of all three. Noon right here, you know, doing all of all of her wonderful stuff. Um, Celia is also doing a lot of covers, which is of course because they're singers. Uh, Mita or Meta is doing the same thing. So this is all great for them on their end. And I'm glad, of course, like I said, RK Music seems to be spreading into the VTuber field and I'm glad that they're getting good talents and I'm glad that they're doing their best to bring the talents uh, something good for themselves. Following a named Insayu, looks like Aoi Sakura, former Yuki Chihiro of Nidisanji, got sponsored by Honkai Star Rail, which is great to see. Let's listen to a little bit of what goes on here. Let's see if we can hear it. So yeah, that's very nice. It's very nice that, that she has that part. How long before Nidhi Sanji bans livers from playing Honkai? All their former livers are getting Honkai Star Rail stuff. Uh, Next.com, Sakura Oi. Uh, it's always been a big fan of Chi Saku-san, so seeing her get this made made me so happy for her. This is her right here. This is who she is right now. A translation of her bio. Half Cherry Blossom Fairy and half Snow Woman. I like to sing. Sub account is that one. Active since 2024-2-1. The mom is Nagi here. Live 2D model is done by this person. So they're, they're, they are pushing the people who did it. Nagi is the one, the, the, the mom, the PSD mom, I'm guessing. This one here is the one who did the Live 2D rigging. So all good. All good going for them. I'm very, very happy that they get this. The third ex Niji to be working with Hoyo, Sayu, and Usan. Riku is in shambles. Never thought I'd see Hoyo taking sides. Hopefully she's no longer getting harassed by aunties. I hope not. Hoyo is looking for money, of course. They're looking for good singers, people who are moving up in the world, and, you know, are able to do things like this for them. In before Niji bans Hoyoverse games, of course. Uh, they're probably going to do that. So, seeing how Niji is so petty, they might just do that. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.